shop I'll smoke if I want to we got a couple minutes before we're live chill eh? welcome 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 everybody welcome back to my channel and your community GSM trade co a place where we recover refine buy sell trade all things precious and metals uh, today we're gonna be talking about silver specifically plated silver you know what I'm talking about grandma's old tea, tea set smells you wouldn't drink anything you wouldn't give the dog water out of this get it out of here old creamers chalices bowls candles and what I'm going to be working with to make it simple today although the principle of it works with all that shit today I'm going to just going to use for simplicity spoons all right so we're going to deplate those in the best method and yes it is the best method um, that I found possible uh, it's cleaner it's easier it's safer that being said I do have to say the chemical that we are going to be introducing today um, as a precaution glasses gloves lab coat and perhaps a respirator for uh, you know dust for if especially if you have uh, lung issues uh, asthma COPD um, any sort of respiratory illness, illness you might want to just take an extra layer of precaution and don a uh, dust mask Reason being, exposure or long-term or high exposure to this chemical can uh, interfere with uh, your blood carrying oxygen to its vital organs. Thus, you can experience dizziness, fatigue, uh, you can even pass out, and in worst cases, you can turn blue, not death blue, however, blue as in dying blue, because your fucking vitals don't have oxygen. So, we're going to be smart with that. We're not going to eat it, snort it, drink it, right? Uh, we're going to work with it responsibly and safely not that it's a horrible chemical to work with when I said it's safer than other methods I mean it it's just most anything in this world especially when you exceed moderation um, carries its own risks okay no biggie don't follow my footsteps of the past I'm I've been stupid and therefore you have no reason to be follow my footsteps of the future and I'll, along the way I'll teach you what you can expect what happens when the unexpected happens and how to deal with it and clean it up all the while keeping you away from that dreadful wait in the hospital waiting room we all know how that is <sighs> anyways yeah that being said um, I rambled on long enough let's get to the lab let's hit this shit all right here we are back in my crusty lab okay so um, what we're gonna start out with because we are only doing spoons and so forth 
is get yourself a one liter beaker it works well fill it up to 800 milliliters okay of distilled water distilled or tap I prefer distilled for most of my reactions tap water is okay all right so don't don't stress if you can't get your hands on some distilled right away or they're sold out you can make do with tap water not an issue but I just prefer to use distilled for most of my reactions all right so we're gonna go with that fill your one liter beaker up to 800 milliliters of distilled water do not add salt or anything else to it all right if you're wondering why my water is a little discolored is because I'm actually recycling uh, water from my reactions previously I'm going to show you how you can save water do not dump it it does contain silver in it and you can reuse it okay this is also part of this channel is about reusing items and, and not flushing uh, things away that we don't have to we reuse it we concentrate it then we process it all right now for the chemical we've all been waiting for you ready chemical formula is KNO3 potassium nitrate and if you can't get your hands on potassium nitrate or you can't make it or you don't know how like I said I will show you in a later video how you can make this um, any nitrate will do uh, sodium nitrate ammonium nitrate all that will work just fine what I've measured out is for one liter beaker or 800 milliliters of water you're going to mix in 100 milliliters of potassium or your choice of nitrate just add it in there give it a little stir most of it will dissolve don't worry about any little uh, clumps that you have at the bottom okay as the electrical charge passes through the solution um, it'll dissolve just fine it's not going to interfere all right add in your, your source of nitrate again one liter beaker 800 milliliters of water 100 milliliters measured out of potassium nitrate or nitrate of your choice um, if you're going to go bigger for uh, say a two liters just just double it up whatever liter your be liter your beaker is use that equivalent amount in milliliters of, of your nitrate mix it in and uh, that's it it's simple let's get to the other uh, part of the lab all right so first what thing you're gonna do everyone is get yourself some copper okay it could be copper piping hammered out flat uh, uh, could be copper tubing anything what you're gonna use your copper for okay I have a, I have a hunk of copper here um, you're gonna use this as your cathode okay your negative terminal is going to be placed on your copper okay negative to copper very important you don't mess that up secure to your vessel like so now you're going to take your positive alligator clip and this is where your silver plated object is going to be secured to you're going to have positive charge flowing through your silver parts of the silver ions are going to be collected onto your negative however most of it is going to be dissolved in your solution that is my understanding if i'm incorrect in that then trust me that it just works as I said, I'm not a professional, but I know enough. All right, so positive alligator clips secure to your silver, whether it's forks, spoons, knives, grandma's old tea set, what have you. All right, so once you have this set up, we have 800 milliliters of distilled, preferably, or tap water mixed in with 100 milliliters or 40 grams of your choice of nitrate potassium ammonium or sodium we're gonna put the cathode on a hunk of, of uh, copper okay just has to be a clean hunk of copper no big deal your positive charge connects to your plated silver all right now you're set up you're ready to go 
let's talk a little bit about your battery charger you're better off to buy an older uh, battery charger one that doesn't detect batteries automatically because if you buy one of those guys what's going to happen is it's not going to detect the battery and therefore it may not operate you want an older conventional manual model okay I have two as you can see my full setup here my charging station okay both I can set to uh, manual operation and disengage the automatic some battery chargers you don't have that option they're just automatic and you want to stay away from buying those okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on oops turn this on uh, power range we're gonna look at you're gonna need really no more than six amps okay I'm still playing around with uh, figures and so forth you're not gonna harm anything okay uh, really you just want to watch how your silver reacts you do not want this to disintegrate like you like happens in the salt water uh, battery uh, method okay because when it does you're going to get contaminants into your 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 solution and that's going to affect more time money cost all that shit we discussed earlier okay so I'm still playing around with the, the voltage and stuff however I found this configuration works well for me I don't know if you can see that okay and then that's it let's let let's, let's let the magic happen all right so we started the process and now you're gonna see it all take place You can already see the silver being stripped. You see that? It's happening down there. It is now deplating the silver. I can add more voltage to it. The only thing that's going to do is just going to speed up the process. But we got time. I usually like to do only one spoon. However, I have uh, been able to figure out how to make multiple spoons work. Okay. this offers a, a better view however that's as far as I can stretch that I find that typically it takes five five minutes per spoon for All right, everybody, welcome back. I've now created enough of a solution that I'm satisfied 
what you're going to do and what I have done was basically take my vessels that I've dissolved the silver in and I just poured everything into one okay including the jar that you use to spray the spoons off of you dump that into all right like a witch's cauldron you you dump it all in all into one so all those colors and everything that you once saw will now turn to literally dark black okay there's your silver there's your money maker there, that's everything that you worked for now you don't even need to put this on heat guys all right here's nitric acid I got roughly uh, 100 milliliters and you don't even really need to use that much all right in reality even 50 milliliters would be more than enough to uh, dissolve this okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna just uh, I have more silver coming that's why I'm using the one full 100 but for now um, I'm just going to dump this in like so all right dump look at that this is why you be very careful when you dump in your uh, acid that you have a tall enough beaker to avoid any overflows okay now this stuff here is nitrogen dioxide gas you do not want to breathe this nasty stuff in it is toxic to you all right give it a little mix cover it up let it sit what you're gonna see the acid that has been introduced into our solution now will dissolve all this silver and when it's completed the solution will be a blue color okay I'm going to stop this right now. I'm going to put on hyperlapse photography or video right now and you'll see the transformation take place. Once this has been converted or dissolved rather, you're going to watch my other video up here. Okay? That one. Watch that video because that stage there will convert your solution here into the silver that we're going to hit with the flame all right
All right, everyone, it's been about an hour since we uh, left this uh, uh, depleting solution sit in acid getting dissolved. Um, we do have some participate, precipitate at the bottom. Um, some of it will be uh, undissolved silver, some of it will be some junk base metals and uh, very little, however, but some substance that even I'm not sure what it is. All I'm concerned with is this, is to get out the remaining silver that has been un not dissolved by the cold acid treatment. So what I would do from here is I would take this and I would throw it on a medium heat for about 20 minutes and stirring every 5-10 minutes or so, once or twice will, will suffice, alright? That will ensure that we get all the silver, because as we know acid acts much more aggressive when it's heated. Um, throwing this on the heat for 15-20 uh, minutes, stirring twice is all we're going to need to do to complete this stage of the video and our project. Um, for, once you have done that, you're going to filter this out, separate any of the material that, that hasn't been dissolved, and keep our clean solution. Now, quickly I'm just going to show you the amount of silver that this has already dissolved. Um, just watch this folks. All right, make sure. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm gonna add in a little bit of hydrochloric acid, just one drop. Boom. You see that? That right there is your silver. That's silver chloride forming with the addition of hydrochloric acid.